Hey, I think all of you out there know that I am a huge animal lover and I'm always encouraging people to adopt animals in need from an animal rescue or a shelter instead of purchasing a pet. Uh, well, today I have decided I am going to step up and adopt another animal. I can't be telling you all to do it if I don't do it whenever I can. And we have a lot more room than we've ever had before. And plus, Turnip needs a playmate because uh, Mavis is not into it. You know, she is 10 years old. She's an old dog. So she's like, you know, you if you need me, I'll be over here. Whereas Turnip is always like, let's play, let's play, let's play. Uh, Turnip is always on top of me no matter what. So I thought, you know, maybe him having another pup to play with would keep him off of me a little bit and get him more exercise. And when Mavis passes in a couple of years, uh, he'll already have a buddy there. It won't be as hard on him as it would be if they were the only two dogs in the house. So, uh, and plus I always like a new puppy. So we have found a puppy. Uh, right now his name is Ryder. He is a Catahoula, I believe is how you say it. He's a leopard dog. And uh, he is going to be making his way up here from, I believe, California in the next week or two. And uh, once he gets here, you know, I'm not leaving him named Ryder. I'm going to have to name him something. So what I started thinking is, you know, some people during the live chat last week said, hey, you should do something special for people who donate $50 or more to your animal charity fundraiser that we got going on right now. If you're not familiar with it, we have a fundraiser going on over at TYMPPistolProject.com. That fundraiser is to benefit Fur Friends Animal Rescue, where we got Turnip from and where we will also be getting this second puppy from. So if you want to donate to them, go on over there. There's a link there. You can donate through PayPal. I also let people know that at the end of this fundraiser, which is at the end of this month, March, I'm going to be giving away a lot of stuff, you know, and the way I'm going to give it away is I'm going to choose people that donated, you know, people who donated $10, you know, you're going to be in the running for some, a bunch of stuff like Red Dot Sight, uh, Glock Knife, uh, Bread of Pico, etc. People who donate $25 or more are going to be in the running for uh, one of a couple of shotguns I'm giving away, the TAC-14s. But a lot of people said, you know, I see a lot of people are giving $50, even $100. People have even given $200. So there's like, you should do something special for them. And I'm like, well, I'll try to think of a special prize to give those people. But something else I'm going to do for people who donate over $50, $50 or more, uh, is I'm going to let you all name my puppy. The turnip was actually named by a viewer, John Turnus, who we call John Turnip. Uh, is why Turnip is named Turnip. Uh, so I thought, well, you know, I'll let one of my viewers who donates to uh, $50 or more to Fur Friends Animal Rescue through our fundraiser name my puppy. So all you're going to have to do is if you've already done it, if you've already donated $50 or more, send me an email with the name you donated under and the name you suggest for the puppy. Uh, and if you're someone who does in the future donate, uh, just you can also put on your little thing there where you donate a suggested name or just send me the name you donated under and a suggested name for the puppy. Send those emails to shootingleftofcenter.com, shootingleftofcenter.com. So if you've got $50 you can spare to go towards the Fur Friends Animal Rescue Fundraiser, and this goes to a really good cause. They do a lot of work with animals that are in severe need, animals that have been injured, abused, neglected. They don't just deal with adopting out puppies. They have a lot of permanent fosters that needed medical care and love that they provide help to. So great cause, and like I say, if you've got $50 or more to donate to them, go on over, donate, and then let me know what your name would be that you would give my puppy, the name you would suggest for my new puppy. Let me know, and like I say, at the end of this, we'll choose a winner, and that'll be his name.